My name is Paul Blaney. I'm a core faculty member at the Broad Institute and also appointed as an assistant professor of biological engineering at MIT. So this is a microfluidic chip uh, designed for isolating individual cells and amplifying their genome uh, so that we have enough DNA from one cell in order to carry out sequencing. And so this device has a large number of uh, chambers and channels and valves uh, for pushing around those cells and the reagents that we use to do that DNA amplification reaction. So microfluidics is tiny plumbing that we can apply for a variety of uses in the lab. And microfluidics is common uh, in a lot of systems throughout the world and at home. For instance, trees use capillary action, uh, which is a form of microfluidic action, to bring water up to their canopy. And inkjet printers that people might have at home are also examples of microfluidic systems that spit out tiny quantities of ink onto paper. So there's a lot of interest in applying microfluidics technology to analyze the genomes of individual cells. And so this is an area of active interest across the Broad, and a lot of projects are getting started now around, around this uh, technology. So over the last several decades, we've experienced a tremendous revolution in microelectronics that's had broad-reaching impacts across society. And I'd argue that we're at the beginning stages of an analogous revolution in microfluidics.